tagging for your tests. This is another thing that helps you with managing your tests and selectively running tests depending on what you have going on. Um, tagging lets you tag your tests, as the name says, with certain words. And then you can say, okay, I want to tag my tests with um, important. And then you have a way of running only your important tests at any point of time. Uh, this is useful when you have a lot of tests or maybe you have unit tests and integration tests. You can say, okay, this is a unit test and run all your unit tests separately from your integration tests. Again, this is something that's used uh, in a lot of places. So I wanna highlight that. Let's say I have, I wanna tag these uh, separately. I have the uh, the addition tests, the multiplication. So there are, those are math tests. And uh, let's say this one's a um, uh, circle test, right? Hypothetical scenario, go with me here. So what I can do is I can tag these with the at tag. And then I'm gonna call this math. Oh, tag is another import from the same package. This is a huge package. As you can tell, all of our classes are coming from Jupyter API. Um, they haven't kind of classified it as, uh, as child packages, which I find interesting. So this is tagged as math. Um, this is tagged as math. You notice here I'm putting the tag on the on the test, the nested class, rather than the method itself. Um, and then this one's tagged as math. And I'm going to tag this as, and then this is going to be circle, okay? Now if I run this, nothing changes. I'm gonna be running all the tests uh, at the same time. Nothing changes here, but, oh, since I removed repetition, I should be removing this uh, argument because it's not in use anymore, right? So it JUnit knows to pass repetition information only if that test is a repeated test. If it's not a repeated test, that needs to go away. All right, so now, let's run this one more time. Everything runs fine, like you'd expect, but different test runners have features which allow you to select your tags. So uh, Eclipse has a way for you to select your tags. Uh, if you're running in the Maven way, the Surefire plugin has a way for you to select exclude tags and include tags and all that stuff. I'm gonna show you the Eclipse way. Uh, I'm gonna go to uh, Run Configurations in Eclipse, and here you have uh, JUnit, run configurations. So here is JUnit run configurations. So I have math utils test, which is the basic run configuration that I have. You can create a new one here by saying new configuration and then say my math tests and then run all the tests in this package. And then test runner is JUnit 5 and apply. And now if I run this, nothing changes, right? It's the same like running it running all the tests, but here's what I can do. I can say include and exclude tags. I can choose this, include tags, and then uh, math. Okay, and then I'm gonna click run here. Uh, notice what runs. Only the math test runs. The circle test doesn't run, right? There's a way for you to selectively run those tests uh, depending on what you have in mind. So this is the way to do it in um, in Eclipse. If you were to do it in uh, Maven, you have to provide a configuration to your pom.xml. So this Maven Surefire plugin has an include and exclude configuration. You can look up the documentation for this, it's not a big deal, but the idea is you can specify what are the tags that you need over here. And then when you, when you run a Maven test, it's gonna run only those tests which have those tags. So that's, um, that's a way to do it. I've demonstrated the Eclipse way uh, for you to do it.